Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Rufo Social Studies class. Uh, today we're going to do a show. Let me let this motorcycle go by. I'm coming to you from Cayamensi Road on the bridge across the Red Clay Creek uh, to do a show today uh, commemorating the 242nd anniversary of the Battle of Cooch's Bridge, uh, which takes place tomorrow, September 3rd. I've come to this location today to tell you a little local history, uh, highlighting the area behind me on the ridge uh, to the left behind me, where in uh, August, late August of 1777, 11,000 troops commanded uh, by George Washington uh, mustered and bivouacked, uh, anticipating a battle with uh, British General Howe. Um, in the Revolutionary War. Uh, the British had landed at the head of Elk, what we call Elkton today, uh, and were moving uh, eastward. They uh, were anticipating a battle uh, for Philadelphia in the future, so they were working their way eastward. Washington uh, maneuvered again 11,000 troops uh, on the heights behind me, uh, and his troops encompassed the, the land behind me. Big truck, big truck goes by. Um, under command of uh, Generals Knox, uh, Sullivan, uh, Nathaniel Green, and others. And these 11,000 men were here anticipating a battle with the British. Uh, they had cannon along the banks of the Red Clay Creek behind me, uh, near Marshallton, what we call Marshallton today. Back then it was called Buckingham, uh, because there was a tavern there under that name. And so Washington camped here. Uh, Lafayette, the Marquis de Lafayette was with him, and the Battle of Cooch's Bridge down further closer to Newark uh, was a skirmish, uh, the only revolutionary battle in Delaware, uh, and it was made to lure the British to come to this position where Washington thought he had the advantage. General Howe had second thoughts. And instead, he fir moved further north uh, into today what we call Chad's Ford, and the Battle of the Brandywine took place. Washington had to pick up and move 11,000 men and cannon and horses and other material and move that way to stop General Howe and the British at what would become the Battle of the Brandywine. But this was almost the battlefield. I call it almost hallowed ground. Uh, with the beautiful Red Clay Creek behind me. And I'm on Cayamensi Road. This uh, used to be the Cayamensi Woolen Mill. That's a story for another day. I'm sure some people will chime in. Uh, so a little local history highlighting the Revolutionary War and the Battle of Cooch's Bridge, September 3rd, 1777. Uh, I hope everyone has a great day. I'll make a second post with some images, some maps, and some things I have that go along with this story. I hope everyone has a great afternoon, and I'll catch you again next time on Rufo's Social Studies class. Bye-bye, everybody. And now we sign off.